you've got to create a lot of different emotion to, to, to heighten your sense of awareness and focus. Like for me, anger was good. Anger was good because it was motivating. The more I could create an enemy, the more I wanted to go out and kill those guys. Now, I knew I was going to kill them physically, but man, if I could just, what did they say? You know, and what did they look like? Did they disrespect me at all? You know, and did that asshole say something? Like, those are little, little, little things that can get me right in the emotional frame of mind that when I ran on the field and I said, let's fucking go. It was really, let's go kick some ass. That's what we were doing. So there wasn't a lot of smiley faces with me out there. There wasn't a lot of smiley faces with Michael Jordan. There weren't a lot of smiley faces with Kobe Bryant. There weren't a lot of smiley faces with Tiger Woods, right? Tiger wasn't trying to be friends with anybody. Tiger had no friends. Tiger's friends were guys that he knew he could kick their butt. Those were Tiger's friends. <laughs> and they were very happy to have their butts kicked by Tiger Woods to be his friend. <laughs> so Tiger had them right where he wanted yeah. them. And I think for me, like, even when I watch sports today and I see, like, golf's a good example. I see these guys on the range. Yeah. Like, they're all buddies and their caddies are friends. And, and I'm like, that's not the killer instinct. That's just not. I don't, I don't know how you can want to crush the competition because they are your competition, but then to like have dinner with them the next night. Yep. Now, I had a few friends like, because maybe it was a long period of time, but I could count on one hand the num number of, maybe Peyton Manning and I, and I love Peyton. Maybe I've had dinner with him twice in 23 years. And it's yeah. not because I don't love him. I really do. Twice in 20 years. Probably. three years. And you know, our competition was always like, I looked up to him so much. I admired Peyton Manning. Like, I, I loved his game. I loved everything he did. But that guy, he, I, if, if we wanted to get where we wanted to go, we had to get through them. So I had to create something different in my mind. He couldn't be my friend. You know, when I see that with a lot of the guys that, you know, like Drew Brees. I love Drew. He was incredible. But he wasn't my friend. Now he's my friend because I'm not competing against him anymore. And I just think it's different now because of social media, the ability to connect with everybody. Everyone's friends now in sports all the time. And I'm like, I don't get that. Uh, that's just not my thing. So, and it's not that like I'm trying to be a jerk, but in my job, it's different than my person. You know, my, it's, it's interesting. Like when I was a quarterback, I was just playing quarterback. Yeah, it was me, the person, but it was, it was me, the quarterback that was out there because I was doing a job. I wasn't the father. I wasn't the dad out there. I wasn't, you know, the husband out there. I was the quarterback out there on the field. I was the quarterback when I went to work. Nothing was going to get in the way of that, you know. And then when I stepped off the field, great, I'm back to who I am. I had to draw on a part of me <laughs> that was emotional, yeah. aggressive, angry, decisive, Sick. irrational, all those things. And then when I came back into life, you know, okay, well, like calm down, you know. So, but I would say a lot of the guys that I looked up to approached it the same way. You know, I don't think Jack Nicholas was trying to be friends with anybody. I don't think Joe Montana was trying to be friends with anybody. I don't think a lot of, I don't think Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson were trying to be friends with anybody. I think they were going out there on a mission. And if there was someone in their way, they had to crush them. You've